Greetings, Fright fans, and welcome back in to Dr. Gang Green's Halloween Countdown for 2024, our shock countdown of the shock theater film package films, movies that were distributed throughout the country in the 1950s for the first time ever. Good stuff. Yesterday, we looked at Horror Island, which is a lesser known and honestly a lesser universal film. Not bad. Pretty average marks on that one, but it, it is one of those uh, goofy, fun, little old dark house kind of movies. All right, we're gonna reach in here and see what we're looking at tonight. Let's take that one right there on top. Let's see, tonight we're gonna look at, this is a good one, some Boris and Bela action, The Invisible Ray. There's a whole lot of mad science going on in this universal film from 1936. It pairs Lugosi and Karloff together again with Bela and Boris both playing scientists. Although Karloff is a little madder thanks to exposure to a radioactive meteorite. It charges his body with energy that makes his touch deadly and slowly drives him mad. Bela harnesses the radioactive energy to help cure the blind and sick, which enrages Karloff, who accuses Bela of stealing his work and sends him on a killing rampage. There's also a jungle expedition, a ray gun that shoots concentrated energy beams from the meteorite, and a telescope that can peer millions of years into the distant past. It's a convoluted, pulpy plot that you just kind of have to go with, but it's great to watch Karloff and Lugosi together as rival scientists. Released in 1936, it was directed by Lambert Hillier. It was originally scheduled to be directed by Stuart Walker, who had directed Werewolf of London the previous year. However, Stewart wanted changes to the script, which Universal refused, and the film was given to Hillier. Some of the music in it may sound familiar, as it recycles some cues from Bride of Frankenstein. A fun, if somewhat far-fetched, film. All right, The Invisible Ray. Like I said, there's a whole lot of mad science going on in this one. <laughs> I've got to get me one of those telescopes that can peer millions of years into the past. That's a powerful telescope. <laughs> yeah, the rubber science makes no sense in this one, but it doesn't matter. You're here for the ride, and you're here to see Karloff and Lugosi together. Always a good time. This year, I'm introducing something new to this countdown. This is the first film that I've had to use it on. But this year, I'm adding half skulls. That's right, to my ratings, I'm adding half skulls. I could have got those reviews of past films a lot closer if I had used a lot more precise to what I really think about the films if I'd use half filmed, half count now. So this year we're going to go three and a half skulls for The Invisible Ray. A good mad science, we'll call it a horror movie, but it's a mad science film. Let me know what you guys think about The, the Invisible Ray. Do you like this one? I mean, you got to. It's got Boris and Bela together, so can't go wrong there. And Boris is the matter of the two, so yeah. He gets, he gets my, my Dr. Gang Green seal of, seal of approval for this one. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week. For, uh, for tonight, be sure and join me back here tomorrow night, Fright fans. We'll keep this thing rolling. And until then, this is Dr. Gang Green saying, stay mad. <laughs>